All right. Evening, everybody. Welcome to day four of the carnivore diet. As I put in the video earlier, I'm going to do a separate, shorter recording, one about diet and fitness and the other one just about my daily journal. So this is the first diet and fitness one, purely dedicated to that. Um, I'm annoyed because I'd recorded this whole thing once and then the software didn't work again. I really want to use this piece of software, but every time I record with it, it seems to have a problem. And I know the problem is between the keyboard and the chair, but it's not, it's just annoying that I have to record everything twice. Anyway, um, right. So this is day four of the diet. Um, I keep a, a really detailed spreadsheet about everything that I do. So I keep weight, my sleep score from my smartwatch, um, my steps, my calories, my carbs, my fat, my protein. If I do cardio, how long do I do cardio? I don't, I used to track what type of cardio I was doing, but that's a bit excessive. I just now just do the time. So if I do 30 minutes on 15 on one and 15 on the other, I just put 30. Um, if I do weight training, how long I did weight training. If I do cardio or whatever, particularly if I'm walking or running, then I'll put a distance. If I'm cycling, I don't so much, but I do like to keep with the walking and running. And then I just have some general notes. So I can update every day on sort of changes and how it changed from yesterday. This one, I'm going to give a couple numbers just to start us off so everybody knows where I started and we'll see where I go, basically. So first weigh-in was the 1st of January, which was this Monday. It was 100.2 kilos, which is 221 pounds. On Tuesday, um, I didn't go to the gym or anything on Monday. I just started the diet. I've been very strict on the diet every day. I'm not a zealot, though, and I'll get into that in a minute. So Tuesday, I weighed in at 99.5, so that was losing a pound and a half. Uh, Wednesday, I weighed in at 98.6. So Tuesday, sorry, I'll go back. Tuesday night, I went to the gym. I did a leg workout, and I did half an hour walking on the treadmill. So Wednesday, when I, I weighed, I'd lost another two, I'd lost two pounds, so another kilo. Um, so that was a total of 3.5, but most of that was water weight. I, I actually realize that because I've done these diets before. I've done I've done low carb diets before, and I also know that when I go back to the gym, I'll shed a bit of a, a bunch of water weight. So I'm not really concerned, and I'm not really doing it for the weight anyway. But it is a nice side effect, let's say. So I weighed in this morning at ninety eight point nine. So I'd put a little bit of water weight back on, but then I went to the gym again tonight. So we'll sort of see how it reacts as I go to the gym. I think at the minute while I'm easing back in and I'm really more concerned about my knee than anything else. So while I'm trying to rehab my knee and see if I can get that to not hurt, I'm only going to do the gym every other day. So for the first few weeks, I'll probably do every other day. Plus combining it with the new diet, I think that would be smart. I don't want to go in and overexert myself when my body is also trying to adjust to a new diet. So I'm just going to take it easy, be a bit steady, not kill myself, not be an idiot like I normally am, and I'm just going to try and stay calm. And I think, I, th I actually think doing these videos will help because even though there's probably no one listening, I at least feel accountable to myself because I know I'm recording it. So, and somebody may watch it. And if they do, then, and somebody starts following me and goes, I don't know who this guy is, but it's going to be interesting. I'm going to watch it. Um, I can be accountable to you. So that's going to help me. Right. So that's where we are. So I'll I'll give some updates as we go along on that. Um, on my diet, so I'm being pretty strict most of the time. I, I do allow myself, um, I do allow myself to have, in the morning when I wake up, I have a cup of coffee, instant coffee. So I make a cup of instant coffee, I have half a teaspoon of sugar and a little bit of milk because it's nice and it's good for my mental health because if I had to drink black coffee in the morning or no coffee, I'd probably kill someone. So 
the little bit of stuff that I get there is not enough to take me out of the diet or anything like that. And I don't think it has that much impact. During the day, I don't have any milk. Um, I drink basically water. If I want to have tea, I have either peppermint tea or I have black tea, um, like a savage, as I always say. And um, sometimes even in sometimes I just want a hot drink and I've started playing around with just having hot water, no lemon or anything, just literally just hot water. And I think I just want the warm drink more than anything. So again, we'll see how that goes. Um, but I don't have any snacks. I don't have anything. If I'm absolutely really just craving something, I'll have some peanuts. So that's about as far as I'll go. Um, and that's just roasted salted peanuts. And that's probably the, the least bad thing I can do that I can find. So anyway, otherwise it's chicken, uh, prawns or shrimp, um, turkey. I've had um, salmon. So I'm sticking to those sorts of things. And then I have I tend to have beef at night. Today was quite funny because I, I woke up this morning. I'm like, right, I'm going to get up first thing in the morning. I'm going to make myself two eggs and two pieces of, of back bacon, not not the bacon like U.S. bacon, but like back bacon, UK bacon. And um, so I got up this morning. I made the bacon, had the eggs. I was like really proud of myself. I'm like, OK, I've eaten breakfast before anybody else has even got up. My son got up, took him to school. Everything went in. And then someone in my office said, oh, I've got somebody I really want you to meet. I think they'd be great. They'd be someone that'd be really good for your podcast. We're going to go to lunch. Why don't you come with us? I'm buying. And I was like, well, you can't turn that down. Ended up going to a cafe. Literally, the only thing I could eat was bacon and eggs. So I had bacon and eggs twice today, um, which, you know, I mean, it's fine. I like bacon and eggs. So it was all right. But I had scrambled eggs this morning and I had fried eggs at lunch. So whatever. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I had some chicken skewers tonight. I went to to a, an event at my son's school and I was really worried that it was going to be difficult because there's going to be loads of tasty food there and I might be tempted. But actually, I wasn't tempted at all. A and B, they had some really nice chicken skewers that were essentially just roasted chicken and they said they were balsamic and you could see a little bit of coloring, but you couldn't even hardly taste it. So I don't think that was enough to really make any difference. So summary, day four, feeling good, bit yawny this afternoon, but mentally feeling good, physically feeling good, not feeling bloated. So all of that's amazing. Love it. Um, getting back in the gym gradually. So I'm going to start just doing it at a medium pace to make sure I don't overexert myself in the beginning and uh, and just stay strict. So yeah, that's it for today. We will check in and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.